Hey traders, Nick Shaheen here looking at bonds. Uh, I want to try to see if I can trade them for a whole year. So <clears throat> you've heard, you know, they always say balance between bonds and stocks and all of that because they're either or. Bonds are usually a safe haven trade. Like if something crashes, they run into bonds. And because they're perceived as uh, less risky, especially the U.S. bonds. So you've heard of TINA, which is an acronym for there is no alternative. Bonds in overseas yield negative rates. So the bonds in the U.S., which still yield low rates, but a heck of a lot more than negative, um, meaning people want to be in bonds here. So the bid for bonds in the U.S. should remain strong for a whole year. So dips will be bought. This rally was crazy too crazy. We shorted it. So the idea is on bad days, I want to be long. <clears throat> last week or last tick was red. I wanted to add longs by, without buying upside potential. So I, want, I don't want to bet with upside calls or buy the TLT, for example, which is an ETF for the 20-year bond. I want to bet that there's no crash in bonds. Um, a lot of people keep expecting crashes in bonds. This is a five-year bond chart. Um, I don't think this will happen, um, like a big crash down to 122, 123. But even if it does, it has support. So on a five-year chart, there is a lot of support, and there is a lot of support levels in between. This is a weekly chart we're looking at. We're at 137-ish today was 136.80. I can see a pivot line around 134. It's a zone, I should say, not line. Another one around 132. Huge ledge off of 130, give or take. Um, there was It was a big ledge way back in 2017 or end of 2016. And then a lot of tops failed rallies through 2017. And then finally in 2019 is where they broke out from it and used it as support. So... Knowing this range, I can say um, that I want to bet long. And how do I do this is by selling put spreads or naked puts for those who can do it. Um, they're dangerous. So unless I know what I'm doing, I don't do naked puts sold um, because I ended up get I end up getting put the shares. And if I can't do that, then it creates big problems in the account. Uh, unfortunately, the brokers will let you do it to a certain degree. But uh, it's not a good idea if you can't, if I can't buy the, the shares in which I'm selling puts, I don't sell naked puts, I would sell a put spread. Even a short put calendar would be better than naked puts. If you don't know what that means, it means it's above your pay grade. That's, so how, that's how they say it. So I want to sell risk throughout the year. I want to pick my time frames. Like if I'm going on vacation in July, I don't do it through July. I do it either longer or shorter. I I can go out to January and do it. I can pick May. You know, they say sell in May, go away. May, maybe if the market is weak, then the bonds get bid. <coughs> so this is the kind of idea I want to do. I will share a table with the members of all the things I can do and which ones I may do. I did one today and I'll share it in the write-up. So... That's the idea. Plus, I can try to range it. So I can try to do an iron condor uh, and mainly strangle. So I can pick a box and say, okay, the bonds I think will be between this and that. I'm just making up. Don't hold me to this box. I'm just drawing it for illustrative purposes here. Um, and I sell risk below and risk above and try to range it. So as long as it stays in between, I make money on both ends. The yield on something like this could be like 30, 35%. Depends on how aggressive I want to be. Pretty attractive for five, six months worth of trading. And all I need is nothing to happen. That's literally what I need. I need nothing to happen, meaning it stays somewhere in between here, and then I win. But the point of this little short video is to say that I do have support in bonds just from the thesis the thesis is that there is no alternative now if in europe they decide to go to positive rates meaning they raise rates for some reason the dollar will fall probably and our bonds will fall because money will flow out of our bonds and go back into their bonds because that's what they've been buying for years that could be very dangerous that's why i don't want to sell them naked like a strangle unless i know what i'm doing all right, next signing up.